Hi, and welcome to Psy in 5, where the drawings are a little crude, but the science is legit. Well, let's get started. So, picking up from the last video where we talked about keratinocyte maturation, um, we're now looking at, histologically, what the keratinocytes actually look like um, when we look under a slide. So... On this far left right here, this is orthokeratinized uh, epithelia. The center is the parakeratinized, and the right is the non-keratinized uh, epithelia. Now, one of the distinguishing features that if we first, I mean, the first thing that pops out is this top layer right here, which is the stratum corneum. Now, if we look at the parakeratinized this stratum corneum is this kind of attached layer. Now, if we're comparing these two, what we're seeing is, in the case of the para, now we're starting to see some nuclei that are present, some organelles, but if you look at the one before, we don't see any of that in this ortho look. I mean, in this ortho group, we don't see, I mean, it's just fairly clear, nothing exciting uh, within this, you know, stratum corneum. Now, the non-keratinized, it has something different. There's this very thin layer. You can barely see anything happening. It seems very superficial. And as you probably guessed it, they've named it stratum superficiale. So you can easily remember non-keratin has a superficial layer or this stratum superficiale. Now, of course, this has nuclei. It's going to have organelles. But the big difference is there's no keratin. The next layer is this kind of darkish layer that we see present in both the ortha and para. Um, and that is going... to be your stratum granulosum. Now, your stratum granulosum is very present in this... Um, Ortho, and this is where you're going to have the keratinohyaline granules. And now, the keratinohyaline granules, you can think of this as the glue that holds everything together because those granules are used to kind of hold this segment together, kind of like glue. Um, below this layer right here is this stratum spinosum. And now, if you remember, the stratum spinosum is going to be common in all three. So the difference now is in the stratum spinosum, it seems to be fairly dense. Now, if we go in here, it looks like there's more structures going on in here. And then lastly, when we look at the stratum spinosum, it's the same thing, kind of there's more activity there. And then lastly, we have the stratum basal, which is this bottom layer where we have these... Um, kind of interdigitating um, projections coming out. Now, the stratum basal, which we said is this bottom part, this is going to have an overturn of cells. It's going to be the area that has fast healing, and that's going back to the idea that we have this overturn of cell, meaning that, that the cells, you know, they're going to go undergo their uh, divisions, pass on and, you know, start over again. Our stratum spinosum, on the other hand, it's kind of this prickly layer, as it's called. Um, now, if we're looking at this next slide, what we're seeing here is, this is, if we were, so let me go back a second now. If we're looking right around here, it looks like there's a lot of stuff going on, and we look at this next slide, it's a zoom in of all that stuff that's going on. So within the epithelia, within this um, basal layer, we're going to have special specialized cells. One of those specialized cells are the melanocytes. And these little things right here with the brown coming off it, this brown is your melanocyte. Um, and basically, as I said, they're found in the basal layer, 
they're going to have the different pigmentation that shows up. Um, now, if we look over here, this area right here, you see this kind of white showing around and almost looks like there's a halo. That cell with the halo, these are your Langerhans cells. And they belong to the immune system. They're going to be basically shuttling back and forth um, antibodies from the oral mucosa, and they're going to take it and form um, memory cells in, through the immune system. So basically, you're going to be pulling, you know, any sort of bad stuff that comes in back to the immune system and create memory cells. And lastly, we have what are known as Merkel cells, and they are the cells that kind of like this guy right here, or this one, where these are specialized in skin cells that have nerve coming, um, f nerve coming or nerve endings that are going to be specialized to sense um, pain. Now, we're going to go back to this slide right here for a second. And this is the last thing uh, I was going to mention for this. Now, if you remember two videos ago, we mentioned the different layers of the epithelia where we have, you know, our um, stratum corneum, our stratum granulosum, then the stratum spinosum, the stratum basal. And directly under the stratum basal, within this area right here, this is where the lamina propria is. And then if you remember below the lamina propria, there was the, um, the submucosa. Well, within the lab, uh, lamina propria, there's actually two layers. So there is the papillary layer, and this where these folds are, the layer that's like basically from the, top, the upper edge to the bottom edge of the fold, that is known as your papillary layer of the um, lamina propria. The layer that's below that, so this area down here, this is now your reticular area. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I'll try to answer them as quick as I can. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to receive any notifications of new videos.